Hello everyone, Mason Ramon here. Uh, this video today is actually going to be a little bit different from some of my other videos. Today I'm actually going to be doing an audio commentary on Godzilla vs. Gamora. Now before I get started, uh, you know, commenting on the video itself, I would like to give out some details on this video first. First of all, thank you guys so much for making this video you know, my most popular video on my channel, and it's currently at over 300,000 views, and it came out seven months ago. Uh, that really blew me away, you guys, and I thank you so much for that. Uh, I thought I wasn't going to get, like, 100 views, but no, it blew up. I'm not going to, you know, theorize my reasons, but that's, that's, that's something else, but oh well. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's get into the video. And let's, uh, let's give it a watch. All right, now first all you're looking at is the, um, the little intro video there. And, yeah, there's, uh, of course, there's me in the background in my profile picture. Mason Ramon Pictures presents... Now another fun fact, you see the Power Director uh, link down there? That was because it was on a mobile app, and fun fact, I actually did all of this on my phone. See, I put the male Muto in there as a, a little side opponent for Gamora to kind of show off his brute strength. It looked like he shot the blood out of his penis or something, I don't know. Well, why is that footprint so big? I should have put Gamora's tail down instead of up. Yeah, and I noticed the green screen is kind of crappy uh, at the time, but it's because I used two sheets of paper, green paper, as my green screen. But now I have an actual green screen at, uh, up here in my studio. First attack, charging up. Yeah, even <laughs> the footsteps kind of crappy too. Threw him off the. Yeah, I think uh, with all the VFX that I use, I think they're all stock effects on YouTube. I don't know how to make my own VFX anyway. It looked like he was floating a second ago. Yeah, I used quite a bit of uh, Dragon Ball Z noises or fighting sounds because I, I don't know. I like Dragon Ball Z sounds. And quite a few of these shots are at 60 FPS. Because I had it set on 60 FPS. The um, actual camera footage, not the stop motion footage. Tail battle. I think that's a cliche. I think that's what everybody uses nowadays. Punch right in the face. Yeah, actually, with the punches, I had to take out some of the pictures to make it actually look like a fast punch. Oh, wait a minute, he didn't even kick him. <laughs> so, yeah, now I gotta put it on a standoff. And that, yeah, I put the Undertaker's bells in the standoff scene. Then the next song, I actually use the Raven uh, theme for from uh, TNA. The wrestling company. I got Gamora's beam. Uh, it actually, it kind of resembles his beam a little bit. And it's pinkish, so, I mean, the first shot, it was actually a salmon color. What I noticed uh, in the actual show was like a magenta pink. Now that tail shot where you just bash it on the ground, I, I, I thought it looked cool. Even the stock uh, blue fire effect, it, it does kind of resemble Godzilla's atomic breath in the film. Because it actually did look like, you know, actual flames and uh, fire. And, and there was, I didn't have any glow options, so I brightened it up and made sure that the chroma key was kind of... Left some green behind so that it could add a bit of a glow, so... Yeah, so now here we have... Uh, Gamora turning, powering up into his Rayonix burst mode. My friends always called it Kaioken because it, it was all it was a red aura. 
and the, the the fucking background isn't even shaking. I just made the I just shook the camera and made the figures shake. And I actually made the aura. Um, I think it was like a fifty percent opacity or something. And I mean, it is kind of blurry close up because it's all compressed in there and it's stock. Now, details on Rayonix vs. Gamora. Uh, I actually, of course, I of course I filmed slash animated Gamora first of all, and how I made him look, you know, Rayonix burst or sort of a thing. Uh, I actually applied two layers on the phone. One phone, it was like a bright yellowish color to get the highlights, and a second layer for the reds and the darks and the darker areas. And there are some purples in that because, you know, it's based off like a heat map. But it's the closest that I could get to a Rayonix Burst Gamora without having to buy another Gamora figure and having it customized. And personally, I thought it actually looked kind of nice, you know. I think it, I think... You know, the way I did my Rihanna's Burst Gamora, I think it looks pretty cool. And it, and it looks like he's glowing, because in recent Rihanna's Burst Gamora films, he kind of looks like he was glowing. Yeah, there we go, we got Godzilla's Atomic Breath again. And now with Rihanna's Burst uh, uh, Beam, I did the same thing as the first one with a little bit of lightning in the middle. Oh, what happened there? There's a slit right there in the middle. Now, with that color, I wanted to make that look like uh, it's Gamora's eye looking down at Godzilla. And the color was different, too. Yeah, now from, like, this point on with the rest of the uh, video, I used, I used Showa sound effects. And again, with that crappy green screen of mine. <laughs> There's slits everywhere. Oh, that shot was kind of blurry. Come at me, bro! <laughs> Now this one, I I try to make it resemble, uh, you know, when Gamora sticks his horn in somebody and blasts his beam in there. The sparks coming out of Godzilla's back look, looked alright, but yeah. Yeah, I wanted to kind of use doing uh, an Ultra Galaxy reference where he would lift him over his back. His opponent explodes and he does a little victory roar. Or you may so think it's a victory roar. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. He's still alive. Okay, so now this one, where he rips off his tail, I took two separate clips because I can't pop off the tail uh, in one tape. So I had to take so I had to pop it off and then add blood effects to it. And that little part where his tail is moving around all by itself, I kind of want to make it resemble like a lizard where it would still move for a little bit until it would die. I, 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 that might be a bit of a cliche, you know, having someone grab you by the horns or something like that. And shooting the blood out of the tail. I, I just, I found that kind of funny. Yeah, my beam battles, they kind of suck. And now, the reason why I added the Castlevania music is because the theme of Simon Belmont, it actually sounds, you know, kind of epic to winning an epic fight kind of a way. And yeah, I had Godzilla blow his nose off, so, and, cut, and make blood come out of it. I mean, I really like the theme, that's why I put it in. It sounded, you know, epic. And now I use a stock glow effect for his spines. And now this, I actually... This kind of powered Godzilla's atomic beam up a little bit. I know in the 2014 film, he didn't do that. But, I thought, why not? Just make it red and more powerful. Three explosions. And why did the fire move with the land? I don't know. And yeah, put Godzilla's victory right there. I think I, I think I do that all the time. Godzilla Gamora. Yeah, I forgot to put the verses in the in the title. 
I completely forgot to put the verses in there until I posted it. I, I was thinking about deleting this one to put the verses in, uh, but I didn't, and it blew up anyway, so. So now here we have the, the credits. Yeah, so I put in all the monsters, all the songs, special thanks to, you know, some of my fans slash friends. Every, I mean, this was all done by me anyway. I animated it all. I edited the whole video. Uh, I put in all the editors that I used. I didn't animate the, um, the VFX or the special effects or anything like that. I animated um, the stop motion and whatnot, so... And I did all the camera work. So, yeah, there you go. That's about it. Uh, there you go. There's my audio commentary on Godzilla vs. Gamora. And, you know, there's yeah a couple of my overall thoughts on this uh, video, this project that I've done. My most successful project, surprisingly. Um, yeah, I mean, if you guys thought differently about uh, this video, please uh, let me know in the comments on, you know, either this one or the original video, really. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that, this video. Uh, please leave a like if, um, yeah, leave a like, um, share this video, uh, leave a comment if you actually want to, want me to do more audio commentary videos, because I would like to share my thoughts with some of my other projects that I've done. And, yeah, that's about it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and share it with your friends. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.